hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have x cube plus x squared is equal to 150 and we will solve this problem for the value of x so the very first thing we are going to do is here we move this 150 from right hand side to the left hand side so that it will become x cubed plus x squared minus 150 is equal to 0 after that we will rewrite the term 150 as x cubed plus x square minus 125 minus 25 is equal to 0 because uh, minus 125 and minus 25 is equal to minus 125 so after that uh, we will make the pairs of the cubic terms and the, the square terms so that it will be written as x cubed minus 125 and plus x square minus 25 is equal to 0 after that we will write this 125 as 5 cubed and plus here you have 25 and we will write it as 5 square is equal to 0 after that we can apply here the two nice formulas the first formula is about the cubic formula and you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and after that we will apply here the square formula and which is a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so uh, now first I can apply here uh, the cubic formula so which is you just put a is equal to x and b is equal to 5 in this formula and we will get the output in this form x minus 5 times of x square plus a b and here you have a b is 5x plus b square and b is 5 square and plus now we can apply this formula on this term and it will becomes x minus 5 times of x plus 5 is equal to 0 so now you focus on both of the terms and we will uh, take common x minus 5 from both of the terms so that it will becomes x minus 5 times of x square plus 5x plus here you have 5 square and it is equals to 25 and here you take common x minus 5 and we get here x plus 5 is equal to 0 and now here you have two cases the first case is we take x minus 5 is equal to 0 and the second case is we take x square plus here you have 5x plus x is 6x and 25 plus 5 is 30 and whole equal to 0 so the first root of the given equation is x is equal to 5 so in order to find the other roots we will solve this quadratic equation and here you remember one thing is that we just solve this problem for the real roots or we just find the real roots of the given equation so now first i will check this quadratic equation has real roots or complex roots by using the delta formula and you know that delta is equal to b square minus 4ac and again you know about this delta is that if this delta is less than 0 then we can say that the root of the given equation are complex 
and if this delta is greater or equal to 0 then we can say that the root of the given equation are real so here we have the value of a is 1 b is 6 and c is 30 so now we put all the values of a b and c in this delta and we check its value is less than 0 or greater than 0 so that the value of b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 30 so 6 square is 36 and minus 4 times of 30 is 120 and 36 minus 120 is equals to minus 84 so here you see that it is less than 0 and because here we need only the real roots and here you have complex roots so that we will rejected these roots because here we need only the real roots so the real root of the given equation is x equal to 5 and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more exciting videos